In this video, we will discuss setting up our basic preferences in Image Match. Before you begin, you will want to have an active Image Match license from either your lab or PhotoLinks. Once Image Match is installed and activated, you will want to set your preferences on your machine. To begin, let's go to File and Preferences. And we're going to get started all the way at the end under our Image Match tab. Under this tab, you have the ability to reset your Don't Show Again preferences, choose your image loading preferences, standard file loading is recommended, choose which version of green screen to use, green screen version 2 is the most up to date and the one we recommend using, and to have your exported images optimized for speed or quality. And you can also select whether to have your images duplicated on copy image. Here is our recommended settings. Under the image loading, leave standard file loading selected. Under green screen, select green screen version 2. Make sure you have a check mark next to allow multiple users to access jobs and put a check mark next to duplicate image on copy image. Press OK once you're done. Once your Image Match tab is selected, we are now going to move on to our Image Editor tab. Image Match has the ability to use most image editing programs for retouching images. The Image Editor tab in Preferences contains a single image editing application prompt. Click in the white area to browse out to your computer for the image editing applicant to use for retouching. For example, Photoshop.exe. To set this up, simply double click in the white box and browse out and select an image editor executable file, for example, Photoshop.exe. Next, we're going to click on our Key Fields tab. The fields display beneath each image on the main screen are called Key Fields. Any field imported can be displayed as a key field. In your preferences, you have a choice of choosing between 4 to 8 key fields to be displayed and what fields to pull from. To set this up, first select how many fields you would like to see listed under each image on your main screen, either 4, 6, or 8, and then select which fields to pull from on each line that you wish to see. Next, we're going to click on our Packages tab. The Packages tab in Preferences is for defining packaging information in the student fields in order to generate packages from the digital images in Image Match. Some special fields inside of the Preferences area to consider are the Packages field is where you will tell Riplinks to locate the package information to print, Job Identifier is where you indicate the type of job you are working on, and Package Entry Date is a field selected here that will document the date in which you added package information for each subject. Some Rippling settings inside of the Preferences area to consider are Include St. Charles Packager data is a feature that you can use if you are using this type of hardware and Send this PUD to Ripplinks in Jobs is a feature to automatically send the PUD you are using inside of Image Match to Ripplinks. Our quick and recommended settings are, if you have a PRM file already created, press the three dots next to PRM to browse out and load in your PRM file. To set up a new PRM file, press the config button. If you have a PUD file already created, press the three dots next to PUD and browse out and load in your PUD file. To set up a new PUD file, press the config button. Under Special Fields, select which field will contain your packages. Typically, this is the Packages field. You can also select which field is your job identifier and your package entry date. However, these two are optional. Set up your Ripplings configuration settings. We recommend watching the Ripplings video and or reading the Ripplings manual for instructions on this. If you are using a St. Charles Packager, Check off Include St. Charles Packager data. We also recommend checking off Send this PUD to Ripplings and Jobs. To rename your images as they are being sent to Ripplings, check Use Image Name Format String 
and press Edit Format. Here you can then choose which fields you wish to have your JPEG names be renamed as. Be sure to click OK once finished. And finally, we can click on Default Folders to change your default folders the program will reference. There are eight different default folders that are defined in ImageMatch. These folders are Default Images, Default Student Data, Jobs, Default CD Export, Default Programs, Default Reference Image Folder, Default Backup, and PT Burn Hot Folder. Take note, the supported CD burner printers are Ramaj and Primera. To modify one or all of the default folders, double-click on the current folder path and browse out for the folder you wish to change it to. Default folders can either be local or network folders.